Guys, look, this is gonna sound cheesy. People say it all the time and it's just completely overused, but this video could quite literally change your life. Because I watched a video like this and when I learned and actually applied these principles and I read a book, which I'll talk about in a second, when I did these things, it completely changed my life. I completely managed to turn my life around and go from, you know, being broke and depressed and, you know, bedridden and just not really being good at anything to having a very purposeful life right now. I have a great life. This life is everything that I imagined for years. And you can say that I'm living my dream life, okay? And it wouldn't have been possible had I not applied these things that I'm gonna talk about, okay? So let's get into it. When I was a teenager, I was just trying to do way too many things, okay? Before I had my health issues, uh, I was playing football uh, like five times a week. I was doing boxing three times a week and I was playing Call of Duty and I had to study and I had a lot of other things I was trying to do. But the thing, <laughs> I didn't really care about the studies. I really cared about, uh, you know, the other things, the fun things for me which was football, boxing, and Call of Duty. And I was trying to be a pro Call of Duty player, but also do football and boxing. And, you know, to really uh, do well at anything, you have to say no to a lot of other things. And that's what plagues most people, is they're just trying to do way too many things. Like, I don't know whether you've heard the saying that most people major in minor things, or most people are spreading themselves too thin, but it's so true. People just spread themselves so thin that they don't make significant progress in any one area of their life. And when I read this book, which is called The One Thing by Gary Keller, it's a fantastic book, really good book. Obviously from the title, you can probably guess what it's about. But in the book, it, it really talks about there's, there's one action that you can do next so, so, by, so that by doing it, it will make everything else easier or better or you won't have to do it at all, okay? And when I learned this, okay, and it's, it's very similar to the Pareto principle as well, if you're familiar with that, where 20% of your actions bring you 80% of the results. When I did this and I started to, instead of trying to do everything, I just narrowed my focus down and I actually went monk mode, okay? So I did like a four year monk mode, <laughs> pretty much. I deleted all my social medias, completely gone, uh, not even deactivated, completely deleted, could not get them back. I still had YouTube. YouTube was probably my, uh, my main source of like personal development, but that was it. I just deleted everything else, completely gone, ghost mode. I didn't see anyone for months or, or years, to be honest. And I just, figured, I just decided, okay, I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with my life because I'm not really happy with where I'm at right now. I need to change my life, something needs to change. I'm the only person who can do it. So I just need to focus and just remove all distractions and figure out what direction that I wanna go in and then use all the energy that I have to go in that direction. Because we all have 24 hours in a day, okay? We all live for roughly the same amount of time. It's what you do within that time that really counts. And some people achieve massive amounts. Like look at Elon Musk and everything he's achieved. He's got like crazy amount of like seven or eight different billion dollar businesses. And like he has 11 kids. And it's just like, what? <laughs> like how is someone capable of achieving all that? And then you've got, uh, you know, other people with no disrespect to them, but they don't do anything meaningful with their life. Okay. So it's what you do within the time that we have on this planet, which determines where you're going to end up. Okay. And what a lot of people do is they just spread themselves too thin. And the way I like to look at it is every single day, we have a hundred units of energy, a hundred points. And we can put all those hundred points into one thing. And that you see, you see this typically with anyone who's at the top of their game, Cristiano Ronaldo, a famous soccer player, one of the best soccer players ever. He put most, uh, like all of his hundred units into football, okay? And anyone who's at the top of the game in you know any career or anything like that will have done the same thing. Michael Phelps, the uh, American swimmer, um, Tiger Woods, the golfer. Okay, before he you know went a little bit crazy and stuff like that. But uh, the way you really get ahead is by saying no to everything, picking like one thing that you really care about, and just going all in and spending or investing those hundred units that you have every day onto that one thing, 
okay and by doing that by putting in the reps putting in the practice that's how you're going to make the most results you look at anyone who online with a sick physique okay anyone who's in really 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 good shape chances are they don't do much else chances are they're not going out partying every night okay chances are they're not working an extremely stressful job 24 7 okay because they just work against each other the more you try and want, go in one direction the less you can go in another it's like there's an opportunity cost to everything okay so what you can do as well is just try and the best thing to do is to eliminate all non-essential things in your life like can you uh, eliminate just things can you just get rid of them for example for me I got rid of social media now if I had my time again I would probably do it a little bit differently to be honest I would probably document my journey if I knew what I knew today I would have a hundred percent I'd have documented my journey saying, hey guys, uh, this is uh, what I'm doing right now. Uh, and you know, if I'd have done that, it would have been a, a magnificent transformation. It would have been absolutely amazing. I wish I'd done that, but back then, I felt like I didn't have an interest in life. I felt like I didn't have anything to share. I didn't feel like anyone would care or anything like that. Um, and even now, I still feel like that a bit as well. But I definitely know with 100% certain, certainty that I can help people and this is one of the great things about making these videos is even though it's hard sometimes it, I just get an immense amount of satisfaction from doing it okay so is there things in your life that you can just completely eliminate maybe social media maybe just the TikTok, maybe the alcohol maybe the going out of the weekends like it's quite hard for me to think of examples now because my life is very very simple and structured and focused and if you can't eliminate it can you delegate it uh, for example like I have a pool guy here uh, we have a gardener we have um, uh, a maid or cl cleaner who comes like uh, six days a week um, everything is pretty much outsourced my, my laundry is outsourced like everything is outsourced and, it, and I'm gonna do a day in the life video at some point I'm just ha trying to hire a videographer at the moment and um, so if you know anyone actually who's interested in coming and living in Bali full-time uh, send send them my way please but so my, if you were to see my routine it's very basic it's very very simple I've got three goals okay and, and in this order of priority I've got a health goal okay that's number one I've got a business goal and I've got a physique goal in that order of priority, okay? That's it, that's all I've got. And I obviously I make these YouTube videos and that serves a, a greater purpose than my business, but I would still put that under a, under a business goal because these videos are actually helping my business, okay? And my routine is the same every single day. I wake up at the same time each day. I eat very similar foods each day with a little bit of variance. I've made videos about that in the past. Uh, you know, I go to the beach in the morning every single day. Uh, if you're curious about what I get up to throughout my day, you can check out my Instagram stories. But my routine is extremely dialed in. It's extremely focused. I don't spend a lot of time doing a lot of things. Every single day, I try and take a step closer to my health goal. Every single day, I try and take a step closer to my business goal. And every single day, I try and take a step closer with my physique goal. How do I do that? Well. As long as I get my morning walks and I look after my nutrition and I spend some time in nature and I get outside and I look after myself and I try not to get overly stressed, well, that's a step in the right direction for my health goal. For my business goal, every single video I make is just like planting another brick, okay? Planting another seed that can potentially help my business, okay? Uh, every single day that I help a client with something, they're more likely to refer someone else or, you know, whatever. Every single message that I send, every single person that I help, every single piece of content that I create is a step forward for my business. With my physique, every single meal, clean meal that I eat, it's a step forward uh, for my physique. Every single gym session that I do, it's an investment into, you know, where I want to go. But outside of that, outside of my health goal, my business goal, and my physique goal, that's it. <laughs> you know, the, I'm, not, I'm not chasing loads of different things. I've just got, here's the priority, here's what I'm working towards. And by the way, all these three kind of work synergistically. Uh, an example of like having uh, 
goals which work against each other would be say if you want to do uh, I don't know uh, like say if you want to be uh, a poker player and you also want to um, uh, the, oh, I got a, I got a better example okay say you want to be a nightclub promoter because back when I was a teenager I actually did nightclub promotions for a while so you want to be a nightclub promoter but you also want to be uh, in fitness okay they work completely against each other because one you're going out uh, many nights of the week late nights usually alcohol is involved okay and that is working completely against your goals in fitness okay so when you do have multiple goals, and it's okay to have multiple goals, okay? You, 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 like, you don't just have to have one goal, but the fewer goals you have, the better. You gotta make sure that they work with each other and not against each other, okay? And the way I look at it is I just plan, and I'll make a future video about this, is I have mapped out the perfect day for me. Pretty much the perfect day where I take a step if I if I do the perfect day okay I take a step closer with my health goal my business goal my physique goal every single day I'm getting a step closer so my strategy for getting stuff done and making sure I'm going in the right direction is to just plan the perfect day and run that day every single day okay just plan the perfect day and run it every single day I've got a list of daily non-negotiable tasks that I've got to do every single day and they're non-negotiable they just have to get done all right and the way I look at it is this is just a uh, discipline issue issue and if you're not disciplined right now don't worry it's like a muscle it's like it's like going in the gym okay you pr with practice over time the muscle gets stronger and stronger and stronger and you become more disciplined I wasn't very disciplined when I was younger I was just going out drinking scrolling on social media uh, you know I was just doing lots of very undisciplined things just playing video games just wasting my life but when I went monk mode when I deleted all my social media when I got rid of my video games which I forgot to mention as well I started meditating every single day and meditating is so 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 powerful I don't do it anymore to be honest but I know I should do but meditating even just for 10 minutes every single day is super powerful because uh, you just become way more self-aware of your own thoughts and your habitual thought patterns that we get into and then you'll start to notice when you're being distracted okay I make future videos on on meditation but it's super powerful it's definitely not just some like woo woo thing like that shit really really works okay and the way I look at it is the more disciplined you are the more money you make it's very simple the more disciplined you are the more money you make the more disciplined you are the better physique that you have the more disciplined you are the better your health is okay so I just look at, you know I just decide what is the one thing that I care about or what are the few things that I care about and how can I each day just take one step closer in every single area because the secret to achieving more is actually doing less like I think even Steve Jobs once said this like uh, when he was questions of you know why was Apple so successful and he said something to do with the, just the ability to say no you have to say no like if you look at an Apple product compared to a Windows product I'm sorry if there's any Windows fans out there but Apple's just far 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 better it's just way more simple it's the art of simplicity and my life's very simple it's so simple I just do the same things every single day and it's allowing me to make significant progress and I'm not even where I want to be yet because over time your goals change and you know your goals get bigger and you realize you're more capable of, of what you want to do but there is an art to simplicity there's an art to just doing less but achieving more all right and what I would do is like I would have the mindset of you go all in on something or you just don't do it at all it's like all or nothing and what that allows you to do is it just allows you to focus all right it allows you to focus and if you think about it the one thing that we have on this planet that we have control over is our focus it's our attention every single day we can choose what to focus on we can choose where to put our energy we can choose where to invest our hundred units and chances are you're making some pretty bad investments every single day okay now just think you know what is it that you want in your life what are the few things that you care about and just make investments uh, to those things every single day 
because if you don't, if you don't consciously think about this, you will just waste those those units. So you'll waste that precious precious energy, and you'll just end up not doing anything meaningful with your life. All right. So I don't want to scare you or anything like that, but uh, just the point I'm trying to make is the secret to doing more is to do less. The secret to getting ahead in life is learning how to say no, picking a few things that you really care about and just going all in on those things. All right guys, I hope that helps. Um, if you do want to outsource your fitness decisions and your nutrition and everything like that and you wanna hire an expert, uh, you can head to jamesweetland.com for coaching. I'll work with you personally, one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, you'll find, find out what your goals are, what your current lifestyle is and just see, uh, you know, what steps we need to take to make sure you hit your physique goals. Other than that, thank you very much for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one.